I've been wanting to do a video review of my main computer for quite a while now. So, no time like the present. Enough procrastination. Anyway, you're looking at a Corsair 600T Special Edition White Mid-ATX, even though it is a grossly oversized Mid-ATX case. Stock features include four USB 2.0 ports, integrated fan controller, eSATA port, FireWire, as well as your audio hookups. In the front, I have two DVD-RW drives. I always seem to get two, no really specific reason why, but they're cheap enough and it's not going to hurt anything by being in there. Plus, they're there if I need them. Otherwise, you have a geez, half decade old card reader I've been moving from system to system with each upgrade. Again, comes in handy when I need it. Other stock features include a white LED 200 millimeter fan, both on the top and in the front. Coming around to the back here, your basic hookups, USB 2s, USB 3s, audio, dual DVI, external sound card, as well as the power supply. But enough about the outside, that's really nothing special. Inside is where it all happens. So as you can tell, it is quite bright in here. That is because I have a string of white LEDs going around the perimeter to kind of match the theme of the stock fans. All I had were blue LED strips hanging around and that wouldn't go as well in here, so I decided to order a white LED strip. Anyhow, to get to the main components, first we'll start off with the power supply. You're looking at a Corsair HX 750 watt, 880 plus silver certified power supply. Technically it's overkill for what I have in the system, but I like the idea of knowing I will have the power if I need to call on it later. Otherwise, again, you're looking at the DVD drives. Moving to the hard drives. On top you will see a 1.5 terabyte Western Digital Caviar Black. That serves as my data drive. For the main OS drive is a crucial M4 64 gigabyte solid state drive, which is blazingly fast. Much faster than any conventional hard drive, but given the price per gigabyte, it wouldn't make much sense to try to load over 500 gigs worth of Steam games onto a solid state drive, thus the 1.5 terabyte. You'll see I move the drive cage down to the side here. That is to allow more air from the intake fan to flow through. Granted, it does show my nasty clump of wires, which was once hidden, but small price to pay since people rarely, if ever, see inside until now. Otherwise, you are going to see a Creative Sound Blaster Extreme Gamer sound card. Again, been moved from system to system for at least five, six, seven years now. I like having external sound for it frees up resources from the onboard sound. If that's even really a case anymore, given the system specs, eh, more of a placebo for me, I guess. Otherwise, you will see a GTX 560 Ti serving as my main graphics card. Room for an SLI system obviously the power for an SLI system, but I wouldn't benefit much from SLI given A, StarCraft II does not like SLI, and B, I don't play a lot of first-person shooters as of late. So if I need to, perhaps Battlefield 3 or Modern Warfare 3 will convince me to finally SLI again. Otherwise, you will see eight gigabytes of Corsair Dominator RAM, DDR3 obviously, running at 1600 megahertz. And the main heart of the system, obviously, being the processor. On top of it, you will see a Corsair H50 liquid cooler. And I don't want to hear any grief about how it's not true liquid cooling, this and that. You can do the same with air. Well, frankly, I'm not also putting a 20 pound heat sink just to over uh, cool an overclocked processor on top of this. It's extremely silent, and frankly, I like how it looks. So underneath that is a Intel Sandy Bridge based Core i5 2500K currently overclocked to 4 GHz. I've had it up to 4.5 stable, no problem, however I don't really have a need for that kind of processor speed. So I uh, clocked it down back to 4 GHz because all I was doing then was wasting electricity and creating more heat. Obviously though the Corsair can more than handle it. It never ever gets above 65 degrees under load. That's with both Prime 95 and the Intel burn tests, so it more than suits my needs. Otherwise, 
It is all connected to the Z68 gigabyte motherboard. Phenomenal motherboard for me, it does everything I want, has all the features I want, and frankly I like the fact that it looks sharp in here as well. Being I was quite impatient, I bought one of the first Z68 boards, this is probably one of the first. And well, it's been phenomenal for all my needs for it. Otherwise, that about sums it up. Uh, the only other thing I could bring attention to is the wire management this case offers. From a distance, you can never really notice that there's a whole lot of wires, because obviously these grommets make for a phenomenal wire management. Now behind the other panel here, it obviously wouldn't be quite as nice, but that's irrelevant at this point. Anyhow, that's about it for my system, and I thank you for wasting six minutes of your time on this. Take care.